Hi, good evening. My name is Dave Gagney. I'm the Town Administrator for the Town of West Bridgewater. And I'm going to bring to you this evening a preview for the upcoming Board of Selectmen's meeting for Wednesday, March 21st. First on the agenda will be a site plan review for a company who would like to put a satellite uh, for telecommunications up behind Azac's property on North Main Street. We will approve our meeting minutes and then we will hear from a host of different budgets as well as we are in the middle of our budget season. After that, we will then discuss Race Amity Day, which has been started by Governor Baker in order to promote all races throughout the entire Commonwealth. Our annual election warrant, which is on in April on April 14th, will be our annual elections, and so our town clerk will ask the Board of Selectmen to sign that. And we will be ratifying a new contract for the West Bridgewater Firefighters Association. The Board will release executive session minutes, and there will also be a discussion about DCPR, which is one of our local committees that is an attempt to be able to have multiple other committees interact and work with each other. There's been some discussion about its mission and its purpose, so that will be discussed at the Board of Selectmen's meeting as well. The Board of Selectmen, like all other budgets, uh, all other departments in town, submit an annual report to town meeting. So the Board of Selectmen will review its uh, submittal and it will also uh, entertain the list of who they will dedicate the report to as they do on an annual basis. Andrea Way, there is a request to add a street light to that road, so that will be before the Board of Selectmen. And then also some good news is the town of West Bridgewater in a recent study was found one of the top places in Massachusetts to start a business, and so we will review that information with the Board as well. There is a transient vendor license, a company from Easton that comes every year for Mother's Day that sells flowers and a couple of the plazas in town that will be seeking permission and approval from the Board. And there is a resignation from a library trustee, and as a result, the library of trustees will also be seeking, or an FYI to the board, that they will be seeking at its next meeting to have a joint meeting and hopefully appoint somebody to their board. The American Legion will do its annual fundraising at Market Basket at the end of April, and the police department is also going to be seeking funds for a regional 911 dispatch center with the other Bridgewaters. Under my report, I will inform them of a resident using town grounds at the transfer station. And the other item is, is that as we discussed at last week's meeting, our last meeting, is that there is a nationwide effort to, provide, to have litigation against all the large drug manufacturers in reference to the opiate crisis. The board has asked me to do my due diligence along with town council. We have done that, and we are ready and prepared to make a recommendation to the board. And after that is maybe one of the most frustrating things I've ever encountered in five years is that back in the late 70s and early 80s, the town of West Bridgewater used as one of its vendor sites for uh, solid waste removal a place in Cumberland, Rhode Island. That place has now been determined by the EPA to contain toxic chemicals and materials, some of which may have originated from the town of West Bridgewater, and there is potential litigation in reference to that. So I'll inform the board formally as to where we stand in that issue and then also go into executive session right afterwards so we can devise a strategy as to how we are best going to defend the town. And in addition to that, in executive session, we will also be discussing the ongoing contractual negotiations with that clerical uh, collective bargaining agreement as well. As always, our meetings are the first and third Wednesdays of every single month. They are normally held at 7 p.m. on the second floor in the Board of Selectmen's meeting room. All are welcome to uh, come by as it is a public meeting. And the last thing to note is because of the impending snowstorm, we have every anticipation that we are going to have the meeting. We're in the middle of the budget season, the busiest time of the year. There aren't a lot of free nights. So if we don't do it that night, it'll be hard to get a duplicate night. But just in case we need to, we have already posted the same exact agenda for Thursday, March 22nd, and we would do it in tandem with the Finance Committee. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a good evening.